Uh, Brother, I think this match comes down to what kind of Herbert is going to show up. If the right Herbert shows up, you know, super tough match, anyone really. Yeah. As I was speaking to to Mok in, 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 uh, earlier, you know, he said, I'm really looking forward to, to have this match because Herbert is really aggressive and uh, usually I'm really calm. And then it, it takes some someone like Herbert to take that aggression out of myself. And um, I can't wait for that fight. That's what he was saying this time. And uh, on the other hand, Herbert has been, uh, it came out of two uh, losses uh, in the last two round, uh, fights in ACB. So he really wants to go yeah, back and he, show he that needs... what he's got, you know? The thing is, Herbert is like one of the most talented guys I've ever seen when it comes to like sheer like physical attributes and aggression and just overall such a talented guy. But, you know, every now and then you can see he just like doesn't, he's just mentally not there and he's just not his best self. Um, that's why I'm curious to see what kind of Herbert you're going to see tonight. But again, he's got his hands full with Moku. He's no joke, man. Like, he, you know, Herbert tends to be very snappy and aggressive. Wow. That's a great sweep by Herbert. Moku wow. didn't expect I, that. I don't think anyone did. I just thought it was a guard pole, and just, he hit that butterfly right <laughs> off of so it. He's so explosive, yeah. huh? It's crazy. That's like a basic move, that butterfly off a guard pole. But, you know, if you time it right, it's very difficult to stop. And the other thing to remember, last time we saw Moku on bottom, he was surprisingly efficient, man. Let's see if he can pull something off with that lapel. Yeah, Herbert with that choke there. Very aggressive Herbert tonight. It's getting deeper and deeper. Oh, by two. The Romulo Bajal choke. The Romulo Bajal choke. Actually, before it was the margarita choke for a long time. Remember that? Oh, he still on? has him. It's still on. It's still on. It's still on. It's still on. Got to move it's still on. Right. If he pushes his hips away, he's going to. Yeah. He has to push that hips away. If he, if he stops, if he defends, you know, that's two points. It's two yeah. points to Moko. Wow. It's a draw. I think, I think strategically that might have been a mistake on Herbert's end. It would be good to see how Herbert de deals with that. Okay? Not going for the choke per se, but, you know, just kind of being so confident being on the bottom, he could still get it. Against a guy Moku's size, that's, that's a difficult thing to do, and score is even. Herbert playing with that lapel. Moku's like, eh, not giving it to you. I will say this, though. Herbert's been very, very aggressive. I'm liking it. This is when he's best, when he takes the initiative, right? One thing that I, <clears throat> I've always seen is that Herbert, when he's winning, he always um, dominant and he always getting better and better and better. But as soon as he gets in a bad position, he's very um, unstable. So it would be good to see if he can get back up and see what's going to happen next. Like, is, remember that time that um, Herbert fought Adam Virginsky yes. when he scored like a 10-0 in one minute? Yes. You know, and then suddenly on the second round, he got in a bad position, everything went downhill. So I just wonder how he has been dealing with that scenario when he's not winning. You yeah, know, because like that's, that's one that's thing that Herbert um, misses out is like trying to try to come back from a bad position you, you know? know what like you just touched on something i was thinking about that earlier but you worded it so so elegantly brother like you know it's one thing to be winning be, be well psychologically when you're winning right it's when you're a tough spot that's when that's when you find out like you know your mental toughness and i think that's something that you know herbert with all his skill and ability he struggled with because you can see with that fight with adam you can see he went from being extremely aggressive you know and dominant and he got put in trouble by Adam for a second there. You can see him slowing down. You know, I don't know if he was injured or not, but it just wasn't himself. It wasn't the aggressive yeah. Herbert that we all love to see. Um, and I've said this before, but this guy's one of the most talented grabs I've ever seen. Like that guard pass he did on Adam, like as Adam pulled, that was insane. That's and he, crazy. Yeah, I've seen him do it before. He's on that. He's on that to Felipe Pena. Yeah, like he just times your guard pull and lands in side control. <laughs> in the amount of many times. I think Jacare did something similar. He had that kind of speed, right? Jacare, like, yeah. uh, Margarita, all those guys, so explosive guys, you know? Yeah. Well, 30 seconds to go. I'm really excited to see how, how the start of the second round will be when Herbert realized that what, his, what the opponent has against him, you know? He tried his best things and did the work apart from the sweep. Boko really solid and, and consistent there.
Three seconds. It's the end of the first round. In the round one. It's a draw so far. Nice. See, this is where this is where Herbert's most dangerous. If he gets that sleeve, that pocket grip on your sleeve, He's and that so cross explosive. collar, you can see how he switched gears the second he gets his grips. Well, maybe maybe he should have circled there, try to keep it inbounds as he began his sequence. But that's when he's most dangerous. Now, I hope Moku caught on to that and doesn't let Herbert get there again. Because if he does, once again, that's where he's very, very dangerous. Yeah, he's going for it again. Let's see? Herbert's Santos 10 seconds in with the guard pool. Let's Time. See, let's see Herbert pulls guard here again. I don't think so. I think Kahao will. Yeah, he might. Oh. That was, that was that, before. That, yeah, he, he did say before. I think he pulled like a split second after the rest said Paro. Mm -hmm. I think Herbert really regrets that because now he's really showing that. Uh. That was a bit part of his strategy, maybe. Was hitting that sweep, and he's done it a second time now. He's less likely to surprise So Michael. strong that sweep he has, huh? It, it's, it's a basic sweep, bro. It's, it's a efficient. really basic. And I hate when people make this discussion between old and new. And it's like, guys, it's, the only thing that matters is does it work? Uh, rear naked choke is old as it gets, and it works. So you got to stick to what's efficient. Nice. Wow. Nah, that was pure So armor. strong. Wow. This time he got so deep under the yeah. uh, hips. You know, it was crazy. And, and I love that it points to Inagi because you don't really compromise your back. If you miss, you can still recover. That cross grip, Brawley, you can only, in judo, you can only get, get hold it for a few seconds. You know that? Yeah, because it's so unfair it's when you know how so, to. <laughs> exactly. It's so efficient. It's kind of like holding the inside of the pants with jiu-jitsu. Exactly. Like, it works well. That's why we banned it. You know, except ACB. But... In judo, that cross collar grip is illegal for more than I think it's three seconds is the allowance. But you can see Herbert is one of those guys that uses it so well, and he just it's Herbert Rodolfo Vieira. Yeah, and because the beauty of it is like most opponents are is if you mess up, you risk the back, right? Your back being taken. We saw Victor Norio's back being taken from a failure opponent to Anaga against Kuramov earlier today. But with that cross collar grip, in case you miss your throw, you can still recover. It stop, basically stops the opponent by getting to your back. And even if you come on top, you can always push him back into the collar drag and exactly. always be offensive exactly. to get the can... like loop chokes. It's such a good grip to, yeah. to try something. Yeah. And I'm glad you brought that up because you're right, because you can turn that failed takedown attempt into a collar drag or, or at least a stand back up. Yeah. Oh, that's a good position of Albert trying to push his hips to the right knee to the mount. Deep shoulder pressure now. Control the elbow. This has Enter. been the best Herbert I've seen in a long, long it's time. Been while, yes. We all missed that, didn't we? Yeah. He, he's, yeah. he's doing a really good job of that shoulder pressure. You can see Moku's having a hard time moving underneath him. But he still has that ankle. It's still a half guard. You know, if Moku gets on top now, that will be two points for Moku. Because even though it's just the ankle trap, it still counts as a half guard. Herbert knows this. He's got to be, you know, careful how he moves forward. He doesn't get bridged over or anything. Oh, Maku, maybe try to transition with deep half guard with that left arm. Yeah, he needs to go on the hook on the legs because on the top that um, is not a very good position. Herbert being very patient. He knows he has this round. He's got a minute and 40 seconds to go. One minute and 10 seconds to go. Herbert Santos winning by two points. Only half guard. Moku Kahawai has an opportunity to put a sweep in and draw the game. 
But Ebert has a very good advantage point there with the right shoulder pressure. What and I, the underhook there as well. What I recommend Herbert hand. to do is exactly what he does. Is walk that foot up to the butt to free the knee. And now he can start Here we to go. be careful Ooh, that bridge. That's two points for Mukwe if he gets on top. Herbert could switch Nothing that happened arm. There. Or, is, no, he's sticking to the back. But see, Moku has that grip. Is Mafig is four points now. I would, so I'm close, though. Sure I wouldn't give him those points. points. No. I don't think it was points. No, I don't think, yeah, Moku is looking at the ref like, yeah, right. You know, I wouldn't have given those four. This is a little too soon. I actually thought Herbert was going to go for the arm there. It was right there. With this much time left, probably would you have gone for that arm? <sighs> it's, just, it's hard it to say. It's how much you liked. I like that arm bar, though. Like, it's one of those It's a sacrificial move. And like a few fights ago, I just said, don't go for a sacrifice move. But well, it's, if you're confident you can hit it, like, I'd say go for it. What's the worst could happen? You know, this, just this much two time points. Left. You know? is, you only, if, had Herbert... Well, he still don't have the 10-8 round, even with the four points from the yeah. round. So I'll probably strategically, go for the, yeah. the, the, the arm would have, would have, been, would have made more, uh, more from uh, a sense perspective. Like, he knows what Herbert's got those two moves, and he's done it, both of them twice. He, he needs to take Herbert down, really, you know, and, and turn it around, get a 10-8 um, or a submission. Not easy to do. I didn't get that. I, and he looked at the ref right away. I, I kind of like the who did. Like, did I just mess up? I think he tried to do something, but Ebert didn't move at all. He felt the weight. Yeah, but maybe he's thinking, you know what? I'm already losing this fight. I'm either I'm rather capitalize on my time on the ground and try to hit something from the bottom versus just wasting 30, 30 more seconds. Oh, that was one of the signature movements for Herbert. You know, he just straight to mount. jumped towards straight to the mount. Ezekiel on, well defended by Moku Kahawai. In, it's a 9 0, round, just which, over a minute of fight. So it means it's a 10 8 round. Moku's Have to victory go for here is a now. submission at this point. It's unlikely he's going to win otherwise. Oh, he won't win otherwise. Herbert with the digging for that collar. If he finds that collar, that could be really bad for Moku. Uh, this could be bad for Moku. He's got to defend. This is the second choke the attempt. Collar is on. Is it choking? It's underneath the jaw. He's stuck. He's stuck. This back. could be bad. Yeah, he's, he's going to fix that grip. Amoku's got to pull that elbow over and his the head away head. from it, but it's a very he's tight position. He's a tap, a tap, a tap, a tap. Beautiful win by Herbert. Herbert That's is the back. Old Herbert. He's back. Ladies and gentlemen.